Hi, today we're going to show you how to properly conduct the volumetric air meter test. This test is commonly known as the Rollometer test. Today we're going to be following the steps and procedures called out in ASTM C173, which is the standard test method for air content of freshly mixed concrete by the volumetric method. It's important to note this test method measures the air content contained in the concrete. It is not affected by air that may be present inside the porous lightweight aggregate particles. We use air entrainment in lightweight concrete to make pumping easier since air entrainment acts as a pumping aid, but it also helps to provide greater thermal and fire resistance as well as greater freeze-thaw protection for exterior applications. So, when taking your sample as per ASTM C172, make sure you thoroughly mix the sample in the wheelbarrow. Step 1. Wet the inside of the measuring bowl and dry it to a damp but not shiny appearance. Step 2. Using the scoop, fill the measuring bowl with freshly mixed concrete in two layers. Move the scoop around the perimeter of the measuring bowl opening to ensure an even distribution of the concrete. For the first layer, fill the measuring bowl approximately one half of its volume and then rod the layer 25 times uniformly across the cross section and throughout the depth. Use care not to damage the bottom of the measuring bowl. Tap the sides of the measuring bowl 10 to 15 times with the mallet to close voids left by the tamping rod and to release any large bubbles of air. For the second layer, fill the measuring bowl with concrete again, rod the layer 25 times uniformly over the cross section, making sure you penetrate through the layer and into the bottom layer approximately one inch. Tap the sides of the measuring bowl 10 to 15 times with a mallet to close any voids left by the tamping rod and to release any large bubbles of air. After tapping the second layer, a slight excess of concrete, one eighth of an inch or less, above the rim is acceptable. Add or remove a representative sample of concrete as necessary. Strike off the excess concrete with a strike off bar and wipe the flange of the measuring bowl clean. Next, we're going to wet the inside of the top section of the meter, including the gasket. And attach it to the measuring bowl. Clamp it down tightly to create a watertight seal. Insert the funnel and add at least one pint of water followed by the selected amount of isopropyl alcohol. After adding the select amount of isopropyl alcohol, make sure to record the amount of alcohol added. Next, we're going to add water until it appears in the neck of the top section. Once you see the water in the neck of the top section, remove the funnel. Next, 
Adjust the liquid, the water, and the alcohol level with the syringe until the bottom of the meniscus is level with the zero mark on the transparent scale. So once the meniscus, bottom of the meniscus, is at the zero mark, attach and tighten the cap, producing a watertight seal. Make sure to dampen the seal on the cap, if it's a pressure type cap. Quickly invert the meter and shake the measuring bowl and return the meter to its upright position. Do not invert the meter for more than five seconds at a time. Repeat the inversion, shaking the upright process for a minimum of 45 seconds and until the concrete is free from the measuring bowl. Using the hand on the flange, vigorously roll a meter one quarter to one half turn forward and back several times, quickly starting and stopping the roll. Turn the measuring bowl about one third of a turn and repeat the rolling process. We're going to continue to roll a meter for one minute while listening for the aggregate sliding around in the meter. Next, set the meter upright and loosen the cap. We're now going to allow the liquid level to stabilize. The liquid level is stable when it does not change more than 0.25% within a two minute period. If the liquid level does not stabilize within six minutes, discard the test and conduct a new test using additional alcohol. If there is more foam present in the neck than that which is equivalent to 2% air, discard the test and conduct a new test using additional alcohol. If the test shows the air content greater than 9%, add calibrated cups of water to the meter to bring the liquid level into the graduated range of the meter. Record the number of cups and add water. When the liquid level is stable, read the level to the bottom of the meniscus, to the nearest 0.25%. Then, record the reading as the initial meter reading. In this case, we have 5% error. There is no more than 2% foam at the top of the neck, so the test is not considered invalid. Next step, we're going to retighten the cap and repeat the rolling procedure for one minute. Now we're going to loosen the cap and allow the liquid level to stabilize for two minutes. Again, if the second reading of the liquid level has not changed by more than 0.25% from the original meter reading, record the reading as the final meter reading. If the second reading differs from the first by more than 0.25%, record the second reading as the initial meter reading and repeat the rolling procedure for one minute. If the third reading of the liquid level has not changed by more than 0.25% from the initial meter reading, record the third reading as the final meter reading. Otherwise, discard the test and conduct a new test using additional alcohol. In this case, the air is stabilized at 5%. The second meter reading was identical to the first, so we're going to record this as the final meter reading. The next step is going to be to, to disassemble the meter, dump out the contents of the measuring bowl, and examine the measuring bowl for portions of undisturbed, tightly packed concrete. If such material is present, the test is invalid. Disassemble the meter and dump out the contents of the measuring bowl. Then examine the measuring bowl for portions of undisturbed, tightly packed concrete. If such material is present, the test is considered invalid. In this case, we've got a pretty clean dump, so the test is valid. Lastly, the final air content is equal to the final meter reading, minus the correction factor, plus the number of calibrated cups of water added. Now, record the air content to the nearest 0.25%, and this is your final meter reading. In this case, the air was 5%, so that will be the final meter reading. So there you have it. The rollometer test completed.